Prince Philip comes to Carlisle, we at Jets and Castles and Orno, and is greeted by Sir Robert Chance, Lord Lieutenant of Cumberland. The Queen was to have been here, but her indisposition has made it necessary for her to return to London. And Prince Philip comes as Her Majesty's representative. He receives a loyal address from the Mayor, Councillor Irving Burrow, and reads the Queen's speech. Little Pauline Parish had hoped to meet the Queen, but the Duke's friendliness takes the sting out of her disappointment. Now the procession, headed by Hadrian, whose famous wall is only a mile away. Carlisle, known then as Lugavallium, was a thriving Romano-British town, and it's gone on thriving ever since, except when the Danes wiped it out, and it had to wait a couple of centuries to be rebuilt, with the castle this time to be on the safe side. For hundreds of years, of course, right down to the 45 Rebellion, Carlisle kept a wary eye on the border, and any man with a Scottish title would have been received with caution. But in these happier days, the Duke of Edinburgh gets a royal welcome from the city to whom the border means nothing more dangerous than the tourist trade and a few Gretna-bound romantics. The mayor escorts the Duke to the cathedral for a Thanksgiving service, at which the congregation represent the young people of the city. At the cathedral door, the Dean of Carlisle, the very Reverend Cyril Main, welcomes the royal visitor. Carlisle Cathedral also has a long history. There was a monastery here before the Danes came, and parts of the present building date from the Norman period, though they are of British, not Norman, workmanship. After the service, the Duke and the Mayor leave for a civic luncheon at the Crown and Mitre, where His Royal Highness is to meet the members of the City Council with their wives and husbands and leaders of other Carlisle organizations. Prince Philip comes to the balcony to wave to the crowd. After lunch, Prince Philip drives to Bits Park, where Carlisle's ex-service men and women and many hundreds of the city's school children are waiting to provide a grand climax to a royal visit. The people of Carlisle are sorry the Queen could not be here, but they're glad to learn that her illness is not serious, and meanwhile, they will remember for a long time the day when the Queen's husband came to see their ancient city.